Fly fishing is like a scavenger hunt with no conclusion. Now, I love that quote. That was from Tim Camisa in his new book, Fly Tying for Everyone, which I'm about to review right now. Stick around. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Now about Tim Camisa. He's a school teacher from up in Pennsylvania. A lot of you are probably familiar with him. He started TroutAndFeather.com. He's got a pretty successful fly tying YouTube channel out there. And now he's just published his first book. And about the book, Fly Tying for Everyone. Now we'll talk about this book a little bit. It was just published in 2021. I got my copy yesterday and I'm really liking this thing so far. It's 150 pages, some really high gloss paper, beautiful photography throughout it, and he's got 13 different patterns in here. And I know you might be thinking that, you know, 13 patterns, that's not a lot, but how he's done this is, is really pretty smart. Each pattern in here teaches you a specific, you know, technique, one or two techniques that will apply to many flies out there. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the, the layout of the book. After the introduction, he's got about 25 pages of the various tools and, and some techniques, and then he gets into the materials. And one of the things I really liked, he talks about using a coffee grinder for mixing your own dubbing blends. Now, I love doing that, and this is the first book I've ever seen that talks about it. So well done there, Tim. Now let me go through an example of a specific fly he has in here. See this CDC Quill Body Jig Nymph? First, he's got a beautiful picture of the fly. He's got a page or so, a little bit about the history and maybe who created it. And then with all the flies in here, he talks about the featured technique, what you're gonna learn as you tie this specific fly. He goes into some alternate materials you might wanna consider, and then actually how to fish it. But next, this is where the book really excels. He's got detailed step-by-step -step pictures of everything you need to do to tie this fly. Now you might think a quill body jig nymph isn't gonna take that many steps, but he's got, let's see, 26 steps on how to tie this fly. So he goes into the minutest detail of each pattern in here. So let me go through a few of them that he's got right here. He's got two dry flies, a corn fed caddis, muda puda, a couple of emergers, six nymphs, and three streamers, of which one of them is an articulated streamer. I know a lot of us trying to learn how to tie those things. So one question I always like to ask, who is this book for? Well, it's definitely for a new tire. If a brand new tire picks up this book and learns all the tips and techniques in here, you're gonna be off to a pretty good start. But it's not just for new tires. If you're a veteran, maybe an old school tire out there who has shied away from some of the 21st century materials, and I'm talking foam and rubber legs and UV resin, and then whatever the stuff the mop fly is made out of. If you've been reluctant to try some of those, but you're thinking about it, yeah, this is a good book to, to show you some of these techniques. So do I recommend this book? Yeah, absolutely. At $25 today on Amazon for a new tire out there, I think you're gonna really benefit from something like this. Now, as a lot of you know, after I do a review of a book, I like to give a copy away. So let's do that right now. And how we do that here is just leave a comment with the hashtag, I'm gonna pick Tim. Pound sign, T-I-M, no spaces. Leave that anywhere in your comment. And let's see, today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day for all you folks watching in America. If you're watching this from overseas, well, happy July to you. And we'll let this run for, let's say two days. And Tuesday night, July 6th, I'll go to the random comment picker and just randomly select one, uh, pick a winner, and I'll get this book in the mail to you. Just my way to say thanks to the Fly Tying community. I appreciate you watching my channel. Appreciate your support. Y'all take care. See you next time.